This is the Golf Happy Hour, sponsored by Rosalina's Cantina, McKelvey Homes, and Ascension. All right. Historic Bell Reef Country Club, right here. Ron Krzyzewski, Stiefel CEO. How are you, my How friend? How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. good. To see you. Come on, Marina, you've been late all day. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. Jeez. <laughs> <Hey, geez. laughs> You're late all day. You're gonna... This is like, uh, it was like we're at work. You're, That's you're right. the boss. All right, we're going to get rid of these glasses. Welcome to Bell Reef. Yeah, thank you for having all us. All right. 1965 U.S. Open, I think the 92 PGA, the PGA recently, a couple senior opens, great golf course, Zoysia Fairways. So, you like having a tee. Oh, I'm just you know. going to hit the green Are every you? time so I don't yeah. have to worry about the fairway. That would be pretty good on this hole. <laughs> so here at, here at, here at uh, Bell Reeve, I'll take the honor. We have, okay. we, have a, we have a nice thing. It's a rule for the members that you get a breakfast ball. If I hit it right down the middle, <laughs> you don't get a breakfast okay. ball. All right, I'll take that. All right. Oh, I missed it. Now we get two. You okay. get a breakfast ball. Hey, that was still pretty good. No, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Uh, same spot, a little shorter. Really? Yeah, right by the tree. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't get that. No, okay. we only record the good shots. All right, good. There she is. Don't go in that bunker. Sit That's up short. That's pretty good. Yep, she's short? Good. Just shy of the bunker. She's in great shape. Wow. There's a decent chance she embarrasses us up and down this <laughs> Yeah. I've seen it too many times. Well, you yeah. and I. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to hit that tree and get a nice little bounce. Not so much. Maybe I should have my own cart and you guys should be together. I told you the trash talk starts early. <laughs> there he is, one more here. Stay up. That's That'll fine. find the rough. That's All right, fine. last one. Out of the bunker. That'll work. Are you sure you didn't warm up, Marina? Because that I'm was sure. a pretty good swing. I mean, I'm, my blood's pumping because I was late. All right, let's see. No. And I had a cocktail All right, let's go. Oh, oh that's fast. All right, Marina, you want to take that out because I'm going to make this putt. First oh. In there, buddy. oh, okay. First hole, make up for. I like the confidence in it. Ah. That's good, Ron. You picked that up. Marina would never give that to me. I give it to you all day long. Get in there. That's a bogey. Thank you. Marina, that's good since you already lost the hole. All right. <laughs> what a gentleman. Ron, you're lucky that you're well, just I... so charming. <laughs> that's like your slice. Yeah, that's usually where I end up, right there. Yep. over there. Right there. I actually crossed the path too. All right, Marina. No water Just for left me. to that bunker. Over the bunker. No, please. We'll be over it. Short. No, nope, I'm in it. Just you're in it. That's all right. I played here a few weeks ago. Nice First time, swing, Marina. First time huh? in That's my a nice life. Swing. Thank you. First time in my life I played here and never went in a bunker. Last time <laughs> Are you I was kidding? here. I I've already you been telling me that. You're so pumped. I've already <laughs> been in one. No, I didn't hit it. It's a little faster than barely tapping it. Well, for me. All right. That's good. 
Look at oh. this guy. Two putts. Tom, you've been practicing. Yeah. yeah. You're what not is normally this? Possibly. Cardinals that good. get out of the playoffs and you start playing golf. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank Jeez. you, yes. It's just been nothing but charity tournaments lately. Okay, so I was told that uh, you like to bet really um, high numbers. Tom, do you have a favorite charity? Well, in the spirit of the uh, golf happy hour, I'll go PGA Reach. All right. How about first tees? Yeah, first tees. That okay. one's good. All right. So okay. first tees and that. I'll take the Boys and Girls Club in okay. St. Louis. And so we'll give them $1,000, okay, if I'm closest. But then we'll give your charity $2,000 if you're closer than I am. Okay. Right. You got that? All right. Got it. So this is sort of just, they went either way. Yeah. <laughs> question is, is can you double up on me? Okay. You're up. Oh, and I have to go first. Oh, Tom won that hole. Tom's I got that. Okay. We're making you. All right, Tom. I'll go first. All right. Don't put the pressure on me. <laughs> okay, so you have done a lot of par threes at PGA events. Yes. Um, but you are a big skier, and I... you hella ski, like crazy stuff. What makes you more nervous, a back bowl out of a helicopter or a par three in front of a crowd? Well, I'll tell you, I, it, unless there's alligators in the pond, I'm going to go with, I'm more scared jumping out of a helicopter than <laughs> a back Because that one, you can actually <laughs> die doing that uh, one. Yeah. Here, here, you can, you can embarrass yourself. <laughs> unless an alligator's going to eat you, it's going to be hard yeah. to lose your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jumping out of back bowls, which I do enjoy, is uh, a little more harrowing. Well, there goes your charity, right Jeez. in the drink. <laughs> wow. So you make a couple of putts, and then that happens. Yep. So, Maria, this plays a little longer okay. than it shoots. Good. Okay. I clubbed up a little. And you want to be between the pen and the trap on your line. Okay. Because the natural breeze takes it to our right. You know, that's dry, so that might be a winner. I can chip it up there. Well, I know, but okay we're, ta we're talking I, about our charity. I know. This is the exact same thing I did last week, where I tried to do less than what this club does. Yeah. And I decelerated. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. All right, All right this is for the Boys and Girls Club, right? Oh, that's one. No, it isn't. I'm closer. <laughs> Oh, man. Marina, Marina wins. wins. <laughs> but I'm going to hit one for I am my, too. This is ridiculous. For my health. Man, I did it again. Skip up that rock. Oh. All right. So close. Hold on. I got to get another ball. Same spot. Swing. Yeah, I think part of the problem is I'm hitting off this tee. I'm going off the oh, ground. Definitely not a hole in one with that one. Keep going. There you go. Get in there. Ooh! Ron, did that hit the pin? No, but it went right by it. It looked like it. That's better. There you go. I think it was hitting it off that tee. Hunting, All right. hitting off the tee is no fun. Marina? First tee. First tee is a winner. Nice. It's a hard shot right over this ridge, or down this ridge. Yeah. Bite, bite. Oh yeah, she's got a new wedge. Well, look at that, it even gives you the line. Nope. Ron, why are you putting with a leaf right in your way? Because I had no chance to get it in, so the <laughs> leaf didn't matter. Ooh, Come in. slow down. Boy, you're aggressive. Who taught this? Oh! You guys have been putting. God, Tom. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Go. Very Thank nice. You. Marina won. 
Marina won that. I got a bogey, so just add three to my score and you'll get yours. Ah. <laughs> That is a nice swing Thank you. and a good shot. That's kind of embarrassing that day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can I just go up and put it by yours? Well, I'm just a little right. I never see those come down. No, but I, no. I'm going to assume you're like it was right the by bunker, that tree. Sort of the first bunker. The first tree bunker. before the bunker, yeah. Tom's rubbing off on you with the a little bit of the right. <laughs> there you go, Tom. That might make the bunker, though. Uh, that could be all right. Sit down. Yeah. All right, boys, you got some work to do. I would say so. That was a nice shot. <laughs> Pretty good try. Thanks. Set. Get in there. Oh, oh my God, that was so close. Nice putt. Hold Thank you. Second. Drive for show, putt for dough. That a, that a boy. That's where my problem <laughs> lies. Good putt. Oh. oh. God. All right, Ron, I got to make this oh. tie you. Ah, didn't hit it. Oh my gosh. I was going to say mine was 280 right down the middle, but seeing how you just hit it farther than I did. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I'm not going to say that. If nice only shot. I knew how to putt, then right, I would right, be good. Right. It's your saving grace. Good shot. Oh. I'm going to give you some advice here, okay? okay? This is some of the best advice I'm going to give you. You practice not what you're good at, mm. but you practice what you're not good at, okay? So I want to see you putting. You don't need okay. to hit that driver anymore. No? I know. Got it? Got it. Pearls that's of the, wisdom. That's the only advice I'm going to give you all day. You know what? I appreciate it. Pulled it, otherwise that's the right club. Ooh. Oh, I just wanted to be in the bunker? sand with you. Uh, I like it. When it comes to the um, PGA mm -hmm. or any tournament, this is where you want to be, right here. Beautiful view of five, six par three, this hole coming back. That's, this is eight, that's nine going that way. You see all these at one time. So anytime you come out here for a tournament, just perfect. So in 1965, Gary Player comes here, and they're playing it like way back there, and they put the tee always on the back here to carry the pond. So for four days in a row, he purposely hit it in the back trap and got up and down for par. Four days in a row, and he said that's what he was gonna do. So, you know, that, that's an amazing thing. He was that good of a sand player, okay, that he wanted to be in the trap. Now, you and I, and I don't think we wanna be in the bunker, I would rather not. All right. I mean, I mean, you don't want to be in the water. You don't want to be in the bunker. But here, I want you to call what you're going to. Since he called it. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, call, right. I'll call Tom's shot. Tom's is gonna be in the water. Mine's gonna be in the hole. <laughs> so. Yours, yours is gonna be in the hole. Tom's is gonna be in the water. Go, go, go. No, stop, wind. Oh. I'm telling you. I was is. short left though. Yeah. Nope. Same okay, wait, did thing. you call yours? Yeah, I'm in the water deeper, right? Okay. Wow. You aren't lying. This does play no, longer. No, it plays a lot longer. Tom's going in the water. It doesn't oh, Jeez. Want to try this again? Yeah, let's try this. All right, this let's again. do it again. That's a good shot. Tom, that was not the prettiest swing, but that's the most beautiful shot you've hit hole. all day. Hole. Did it go in? I no, may no, but I saw it roll to the right, but it's <laughs> That's a good swing. Nice man. shot. There we go. We'll play. Look at this. Still short. Still a good shot. Thank you. All right, I'm going to give Marina the line here. You're such a gentleman. 
aren't I? You Look are. Look at this, he's got to get up Gentleman the hill. and a skull. Up the hill. Oh, come on down. I don't see that. No, it, not that bad. Inside of that. That's better. Nice. Yes. Uh, Sorry, did I just get excited just now? <laughs> Mm -mm. All right, straight so straight? in. Straight? Yep. Oh, well, you're right. You step on that butter. Yeah, I do. That's good. All gas, no brakes. <laughs> so what have you both learned in this, on your show here? Or we've just learned. Or excuse to get out and play golf? We've learned that uh, golf shows the real people. Really? And it's a good way to get to know people it's a good way to get outside for sure it's an excuse for us to go play you know golf's about uh, storytelling so I do want you to tell a story about stepping up and hitting in front of a crowd oh sure Nicholas Watson Ozzy chief so so what a great charity event it was and I'm sitting there, just a pair of shorts and tennis shoes, and following uh, Nicholas and Watts, and Harold, Hale Irwin is, is um, moderating for the Golf Channel, and you got Baruby and Ozzie Smith. And they're playing nine holes. We get done with eight of the holes, 17 out at Ascension, and they go, Hale Irwin says, I need a partner to play the 18th against these guys. We'll auction it off. And they're all pointing at me like, you know, we'll at least bid for something so sure enough I, I buy I buy the uh, right to play the 18th hole now that was a good plan until I realized I did not have golf shoes on <laughs> I'd been having a few beers it's hot out so I go up to Ozzy I said you got a glove and Ozzy the gentleman he is he you know hands in <laughs> gives me a glove and I go to Watson, I said, what's the loft on that driver? Like, like he's going to yeah, care what yeah. I think, right? <laughs> he goes, it was actually 10 and a half. I said, I said let me have it. I didn't even ask him. I, here I'm asking a golf hall of famer, you know, what, how many majors he's I just grab his driver. And then I get to the tee, and actually, for the first time, I'm not normally, my hand is shaking because there are 15,000 people on both sides. And I'm going like this, you guys got to move back. I got up. Had not swung all day, took it back, so just don't miss the ball. <laughs> right down the middle. <laughs> yes. I That's love it. fantastic. Right down the middle. That is I'm almost missing that ball. That plays, but you has got a big slice of it and he plays it. Right? Oh, Ron, I'm right there with you. I'm just going to hit one more. I, I do not know what I'm doing. <sighs> this is not, I, I, I'm not good, but I'm not this bad. Okay, well, if Ron gets one, I get one. That's more like it. Anyone I know that is of means or has a good spot in St. Louis society is incredibly charitable. Yeah, well, that's one of the great things about seeing. Good shot, I think. You go in the bunker. That's one of the things that people don't realize is that St. Louis has a lot of good giving people. They really do. And, then, you know, we get the reputation of, you know, all the things about crime and stuff. Right. Which, you know, are challenges. But look, people are good. Yes, I agree. Oh, boy, there is some wind up there. I thought that was all over. Come left. Not ideal. Not ideal. Would you say this is your favorite course in St. Louis, or do you have another one that you love? Well, 
I think the membership would want me to say this is my favorite course. <laughs> it is a fantastic <laughs> and, course. And it is. You know, I like all the courses. You know, they're all, I'll tell you what, out at Norwood, what they've done out there is phenomenal. Yeah. Really phenomenal. That's a and tough course. And what a course. thing for St. Louis, for Ascension, to do what they did. Yeah. It just really is. All right, that's pretty good. Ooh, get up. Great. Good Woo. shot. Excellent. Oh, pretty. Nice shot. Wow. It's a bit treacherous here, but I do love putting these. You just got to get We need it to get you on a mini golf show because you would kill it. <laughs> Maybe that's our next show. <laughs> <laughs> With Nick Ragone. Forget Norwood, Nick. We're taking you to... Let's go putt putt. St. Louis putt putt. Whoa. Oh, came Easy out. killer. Way hard. Good putt. Oh. Take it away. That was a good putt. Thank you. So, did you play? before or after when they had this course ready for the PGA? I did, I did. How would you compare the speed of the greens? Cause they're quick today. No, these are, these are really, I would say medium. When I, I played after they played the PGA, I came out with a group of people and I was playing pretty well at the time. I don't play as much golf now. And we played it exactly in the setup and we played it down and we putted everything out like the pros did on Sunday. Uh -huh. I think I shot like 108. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that tells you how good these guys yeah. are. All right, little par here to beat Marina. What do you think, Marina? This goes a little right? Yeah. I think it does. Just so a hair. Ah, it's dead straight. Okay, you do not need to practice the driver. <laughs> great ball. Thank That's you. a great shot. Nice shot. Oh boy. Great shot. All right, Tom. That was a good shot. Two out of three are in the fairway. Where's your ball? In the middle of the fairway. Yeah, yeah. Where specifically? You like, can't hit that far? The, right, but you could be on the same line. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> ah. Sit down. I love making him mad because then he does that. The more determined he is, the further the ball goes to the right. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yep, that was a good shot. Nice shot. Good play. Great shot. Smart. Thanks. I, I just don't think you can clear I don't that think tree. I can get over the tree. You know, I mean, you could try to run it up there, but you're still going to be short. I mean, if I were you, I'd pop it over this, the right side of that tree. God, I hate playing smart. In. <laughs> it's no fun. <laughs> Sit down. Ooh, nice shot. Good try. That was that was a hard shot. Get in. It's all right. Little oh. Good shot. Woo! Beauty. In life, you never complain about a par. No. no. Also, you just beat me. Pulled it. Gosh darn it. Actually, broke to the right. Try that again. Yeah. Try that again. I thought right. it was... Right here. Yeah, mine pushed left, actually. It Watch her make pull. this. Perfect, right there. There you go. Bingo. I need the caddy for you. You do. Yep. Thank you. Ninth hole, Sunday, PGA Championship. You got a crowd coming into the tee from eight. You got a crowd here on nine tee. And there's a bathroom right here. Tiger, in all this craziness, bottleneck walks into the bathroom to change his shirt because it's like 100 degrees and he's sweating. Yeah. 
he comes out like Superman. The crowd's like, ah, you know, goes crazy and hits a drive left rough. In fact, almost too far left. He was too far left. And hits a second shot. Right, Ron? Yeah. Draws it. He hits it towards the Worldwide Technology tent. Draw onto the green. And you could hear the roar all the way down, all the way around here. Kepco was back here putting and said he had to step off his putt because it was so loud when Tiger birdied. Yep. yep. And hit it made it in three. But that second shot is is second one of the shot was of all time. Yeah. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. One of my my favorite story about the PGA was that we had a we had a charity raiser for the PGA on Wednesday night. And Maureen, I think that's when we met. That is when we, we, we met. We actually met at, at my yeah. house. We had a thing and the, it was the funnest party ever. And I was there. John, you were there. Yeah. And John John Daly was there, and he was the hit of the. It was the hit. He came up. He came in a bathing suit and flip flops, and sang <laughs> and took pictures with everyone. And the only thing I will say about John is that um, at about two thirty in the morning, I went up to him. He was in my wine room. I said, John, you don't have to go home, dude, but you can't stay here. He goes out the next day and I think shoots sixty nine. And I said, it was unbelievable. On Friday, he shoots 77 or something. This is a cut. I see him at Capitol Grill. And I go, John, what happened? He goes, you didn't have a party last night. <laughs> and I think that that's true. <laughs> he went and shot a 69, and I went to work drunk the next day. Yeah, he, was, he, was, um, he was by far the most charming guest ever. He ever. He's awesome. That was a great there. party. That is He comes up to me. See, that's what happens when you do this. He, he comes up to me, side of the stage. Or I come up to him and I'm like, hey, John. He walks over and I said, I'm Tom Ackerman. I interviewed you this morning, you know, as you were coming <laughs> yeah. off the course. He goes, I remember, bro, the Cardinals. I love them, bro. I love them. I remember we talked Cardinals. Yeah, it's just awesome. remember who I was talking to a few weeks ago but they were talking about your last ski yeah that no not this last one the one before it and they were like it was snowing outside his house it was snowing <laughs> <laughs> and it was in like September or something beauty of technology the machines going yeah <laughs> yeah wow I mean, uh, clear it now she'll be in it but nice shot thank you good shot thanks well, this ended up after the way we started this morning with Perfect. Marina being late and uh, <laughs> yeah. cold and windy and no hey. sun. This has turned out to be nice. That single slightly, mom struggle is real. Is slightly <laughs> flustered. I said, don't oh. worry, we'll take care of you. Almost. Just that little cut. That catch fairway. Yeah. I'm just not getting it. Yeah, I'm not either. It's all right. Nice. Not there. Nice ball flight. <laughs> oh, and I'm in the sand. That's right. <laughs> there you go, Marina you. Fan Club. Thank you. <laughs> I can't stop them everywhere we go. Only time I ever in my life met Arnold Palmer. Right here. And I was serious? just like, right place, right time. You know, it was one of those where he just walked by and he just looks me in the eye I, to shake his hand. He goes, how are you? And I said, I'm great, Mr. Palmer. And he goes, it's hot out here. <laughs> so, so the biggest, that was our conversation. The, the biggest was... golf mistake I ever made was playing in the Pro-Am out at, uh, at uh, Silverado in Napa Valley. The, uh, the seniors used to play at Napa, uh, Silverado in Napa. And on the draw party, I had to leave Thursday morning because I had to get back for a steeple event. And I just had to get out of there. And we win um, the first pick. But the first pick is Arnold Palmer teeing off at noon. And like an idiot, I said no. And to this day, I regret more than anything that I didn't just find a way to play 18 holes with Arnold Palmer. Because that's when work gets in the way of golf, which is never a good thing. Higher. That's a good roll. 
gonna be like right ed to think I watch really mine come watch down mine. here to look at it my mind is just on margaritas that's all i can think about right now yeah this is just a bonus hole yeah <laughs> that was a good putt rob yep but i did just miss a birdie putt right ed i think it, i don't think it breaks that was a that would have been a sweet ending. All right, Mr. Ackerman, let's, let's uh, before we have a margarita, how about we have a par? I will do my best. All right. Right there. Bingo. Well done. Thank you, sir. Look at that. Well done. Thank a little you. par to end the day. Thanks for the read. Good job. Thanks I think for I'm the good time. for something. Well done. Pleasure. Now nice we can round. go. Nice round, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> First of all, before we talk to Ron and wrap up our conversation with Ron, incredible sponsors on this show. Rosalita's Cantina, which is providing us with margaritas, house-made tortilla chips, which are available at Deerberg's, salsa, jalapeno ranch, Rosalita's queso, all at Deerberg's. I went by there the other day. I sent you guys a picture. There's like this massive <laughs> display in the produce aisle of all of these. Uh, the margaritas should be available at Deerberg's soon but of course you can get them at their downtown location to pair Rosalita's or you just awesome. go sit out on that patio and have one okay <laughs> that is true which is what we're doing here at Bell Reef. Right. also our great sponsors McKelvey Homes has joined us and we are very appreciative of that and Ascension the Ascension Charity Classic which Ron told a story today uh, being involved there is just awesome and thanks to Nick we're going in Ascension and thanks to Stiefel Stiefel a great sponsor at Camo X Radio and here's Ron Kraszewski so did you have fun with this or what? I had fun. I didn't play that well, but I had fun. So I think I left it all in my last golf match, but it was fun. Good time. It's beautiful. Yeah, you got it is. The, it is. You got a beautiful day. You got the 18th green behind you. I wanted to ask you this before we leave for the day. You ever think about this oh, great catch? She's, Good catch. She's a great yeah, athlete. Yeah, yeah. I can't lose the chips. No. Um, but do you ever think about just, you know, how far you've come here? I mean, you know, here we are, Belle Reve. Here you are with the, the beautiful office at Stiefel and great people and you've built so much and you know you and I have the I'm from here but we both went to Indiana we University did. and we the, the climb that you've made to get here. You know <laughs> first of all for, I feel blessed all right I was uh, I was born in South Bend Indiana as you said I went to Indiana University my dad was a fireman uh, held down four jobs he was a landscaper fireman barber my mom worked at the Old Bells to make a great life for my brothers uh, and sister and when I look back, um, you know, I got in this business in about 1980. You know what people don't realize, in 1980, interest rates were 12% and inflation was 12%. You, Maureen, I'll bet you don't, you don't remember that. I wasn't uh, born yet. You weren't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, for me, um, I got to Stiefel um, in 1997. I became CEO at the ripe age of 37. What I'll always remember about it is when Burt Walker hired me for the job, there were three other candidates plus me. I found out I got the job, I came to work, I felt I was so proud of myself. And then I found out the other three candidates turned it down. <laughs> so that's, you know, sometimes that's just how things work. And, um, uh, but it's been good. Stiefel, when I got here, was um, 100 million in revenue and about 700 uh, people. A market cap of 40 million. Today we'll do 4.6 billion. Our market cap's 8 billion, and we have over 9,000 people. So it's been a uh, St. Louis success story, and uh, I you know, just feel blessed every day because I haven't worked a day in 25 years. And that's what I wish for everyone. You know, if you can do what you love, Marina, you love golf, so just go for it. And Tom, do, do what you love, and here's to everyone. It's been a great day. Really enjoyed it. Great, so. great day. Uh, why um, St. Louis? Why do you believe so strongly in St. Louis? St. Louis is a, a phenomenal community with a lot of history and a lot of fabric. And the families, it's a caring community. So anytime we're doing anything philanthropic, no matter where it is, uh, this community steps up. And it just is good people. You hear Midwestern values, but in St. Louis, it epitomizes Midwestern values. And, and so this community's uh, future is uh, boundless. We've got some things we got to do, but with uh, determination and good hearts, we'll get there. So I, uh, Stiefel's been in St. Louis since 1890, believe it or not. It was founded in 1890. 
and uh, I look forward to it being here 200 years. Older than Bell Reeve, 1897. It is, it is 1897 for Bell Reeve, so we, uh, our company is a little bit older. But I was reading an article about you that you, is about you and your brother and how you told him that you were gonna like have a million dollars one day. And, and that was your goal. And then you did it. Actually, I told my brother that, and it's close, was I told my brother that I was gonna make $100,000 a year. That's what it was, yes. Okay, yeah. and he goes, you're out of your mind. <laughs> I and loved I said, that I'm story. I'm gonna make $100,000 a year. And I remember thinking, and that is, it's a lot of money. I don't mean to say it's not, but it, they're just saying it at the time was like, you know, just going to make a gazillion dollars. Right. Well, it, that's like saying like a million dollars yeah, today, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's interesting, although it's um, the self-actualization about this is money's, you know, money's how you keep score a little bit. But when I look at how well the people at Stiefel have done, I mean, I've got a lot of people that have done well and having almost 10,000 people around the world, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It is, but my brother still laughs about that. I he love does. that story. <laughs> he does. He goes, I remember you saying that. We all thought you were crazy. So, like, could you have ever imagined you have almost 10,000 employees? Yeah, no. When you were young? No. It gets amazing. Actually, what you were reading about was when I, um, when I won the Horatio Alger Award. Yes. That's what that was from, which, which that was probably the best honor I've ever received. That, that was, that's, a, that's a quite a society if you look it up. And what I didn't realize, they, don't, they induct, you know, so many people a year, but you know, they've been doing, and it was, you know, they had President Eisenhower, there were some, I have, I have no business being in this group. But there's only today 270 living members of this thing that goes back to the 40s. So I think to myself, does that mean that you get inducted when you're about to die? Because <laughs> I don't want to die. Isn't it cool though, like, all of us out, out there just, we didn't talk business for one second. We we're just out there playing golf, just three friends playing. That's the great thing about this game. Yeah. It is, it is. I like the way you do this show. I like how you, I've enjoyed your other uh, shows. You're getting people out sort of outside their element a little bit. And uh, that's great. That, that's, that's really good. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, in the next match, you and I have a bet, okay? I'm going to take Marino. <laughs> that's that's okay. fine. That works. That works for me. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna take her. So you'll. Do, and we we made that uh, uh, contribution to yes. first tee on your on your great shot. You parred that hole. So good for them and great. Well, she's a great player. What, what did you think of uh, Bell Reef first time? I gotta tell you, uh, I have always absolutely loved Boone Valley and St. Louis Country Club. Those were my top two. But I think. I think Bell Reef has it. I really love Bell Reef. It's a great golf course. It's, and that's just uh, the front nine. That's true. That's yeah, true. and I it, loved it. It's it's a great course. Although those courses and and all of them in St. Louis are great golf courses, as you know. Okay, and again, this community. Talk about a golf community. All right, we're getting the President's Cup here, and this is a golf community. We we sponsor NCAA golf, and wherever I go, the Golf Channel and the pros will tell me that if there's an event in St. Louis, they know the people are coming. They know it's going to be a great, polite, knowledgeable crowd for golf in St. Louis. So that's we're, another thing for golf. We have become a golf destination. We have. There's Absolutely no have. question about it. So thanks again to Ron. Appreciate Ron Krzyzewski, and thank you to our sponsors. Rosalita's, the outstanding margaritas and chips, uh, the dips. Thank you to McKelvey Homes. Thank you, Ascension. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next episode. Thank you. Marina, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Our goal at McKelvey Homes is to provide exceptional personal customer service with uncompromising quality to help families build their dream home. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us today. For the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater St. Louis, it means greater resources and programs for our children after school, on the weekends, and during the summer. For Mary Grove, it means more nights of care and healing mental health services. And for the Urban League, it has allowed us to do even more for the community to get through the pandemic together. Thank you for investing in our kids and our community.